So this week for EMN5, we're going to talk about UV keratitis, which basically is sunburn of the eye. And this happens when you have UV light exposed to the eye, either in large quantities for a short period of time, or maybe even small amounts over a long period of time, all without any protection to the eye. And I think one of the tricky things in the ER is actually just to have that index of suspicion that the patient might have had an exposure, because the patient might not necessarily be aware of why or where their symptoms came from. So you have to know what kind of exposures to ask about who to be suspicious for. One of the common ones we see is welders. Now, this is only if they took their mask off while they were working, so make sure and ask them people who go to tanning beds, maybe didn't wear the goggles or sunglasses the whole time. Anyone who's out in the sun, especially if they're at the beach or on the water, these have highly reflective surfaces and increase the UV exposure to your eyes. Especially on the water, you can imagine how reflective that is and how important it is to wear sunglasses. Maybe someone who was staring at the eclipse a little bit too long and wasn't using the protective methods, wasn't wearing these cool glasses to protect their eyes. And then also the other big category is snow blindness, which is the same thing that is UV keratitis. However, especially at altitude, this is even more of an issue because the UVA and UVB waves penetrate the atmosphere much easier at altitude. So not only are they around a very reflective surface for long periods of time, but the waves are also much stronger. So again, these are tricky patients only because you have to think of it and ask them about the exposure. And the reason why is because there's actually a delay in the symptoms up to about six hours on average. So this is the patient who comes into you at midnight. They woke up, nothing happened that they're aware of, and now their eyes are burning and it feels like they're gritty and they have foreign body sensation. Both of them are red and kind of swollen and they have no idea what happened or why their eyes suddenly became this way. And if you don't think about it and ask them about those exposures earlier in the day, six hours beforehand, you might miss it. Now on exam, um, visual acuity is usually normal. A lot of times the lids might have some edema and erythema, basically where there's sunburn on the skin. Uh, Pupils should be about normal. Sometimes they're a little bit meiotic or a little sluggish. Usually you'll see a very injected conjunctiva. The slit lamp exam is pretty interesting. When you put the fluoro in, you're going to see what's called superficial punctate keratitis. And this is where the corneal epithelial surface has been damaged. Some of the cells might be sloughing off a little bit. You might see a little bit of edema. And the exam will reveal all these small little punctate areas where the fluorescein is picking up. The interesting part here is that you might see some sparing where the lid is covering the surface of the eye. And here's just another example of that superficial punctate keratitis. Unfortunately for the patient, it's mostly supportive care. There's not a whole lot you can do, but it does heal on its own in about 24 to 48 hours, just like a sunburn. So you can reassure the patient it will eventually go away. As far as things that you can do for them, ice packs, oral analgesics. Sometimes people have a severe photophobia. Every time the light hits their eye, their pupil constricts, and it causes a lot of pain. So if you give them a cycloplegic, like cyclopentylate, for example, that can actually help their pain and symptoms quite a bit. Other options that aren't that well proven, some people do them, some people don't, are topical antibiotic, patching. Uh, One thing you can try, though, is like a topical diclofenac or ketorolac. It can help resolve some of the pain and swelling. So the main thing with UV keratitis is actually just prevention, making sure that your patients know if they're exposed to UV light, they really need to be protecting their eyes. Have the patient follow up in opto in a day or two just to make sure things are healing well. And after that, you can send them home. Thanks for joining us this week on EMN5. Here are the references.